what's up what's up everybody what's going on those guys in fx family i hope you guys are all doing good and welcome back to those guys fx youtube channel we really appreciate it guys we will be back once again here as well guys we like to thank you all who just subscribed to our youtube channel if you have not yet done so please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon so that not miss out any new content from this channel so guys in today's video i'm going to share with you a very simple forex strategy which you can also use on your daily basis of trading and this strategy is very simple guys you just have to follow these videos until to the end as well to those who are also new here we also talk about smart money concept ict concept and order block strategies if you are looking forward to learn about those concepts you are most welcome to join the family so guys without wasting your time as you all know that market structure is the major key in the forex market which help us to understand where the price is coming from and where the price is going ahead next so these are the things which you have to follow each and every time which you open your chart so what you have to do guys let's say you have identified a zone like this whereby the price will give you a rally yes rally something like this whereby you will be only seeing a bullish momentum without any opposite candles right something like this and then this zone right the last candlestick high and the low our what our demand zone area and also you have to understand there will be an imbalance level there will be an imbalance level something like this now so what you have to understand once you find something like this you anticipate a what a reversal right you anticipate a reversal or a correction to the what to the order block and then sometimes you find out that the price will come back to the imbalance level and then shift the market from that zone going to the what to the uptrend so sometimes they'll come back after a while of going to the what to the uptrend so what you have to understand now you have to understand that we also have a swing what a swing low this is your swing low. These are the things which you have to highlight every time when you open your chart. You have to understand your swing low and your swing high. And then you have to understand this zone will be your trading range, something like this. But here is the case which is going to help you. You have to understand we also have a fib fib level, and these are the settings. This is 0, 0.1, 0 0.5, and 0 0.62. Those are the only four levels which are used. So what you have to understand, right? You have to understand the reaction of 62 right here. So in H4 time frame, sometimes you will see a bullish momentum, right? And then on this 62 level right here, you will find out that in smaller time frame, there will be level like this now there will be a level like this there will be a level like this whereby the price will give you a rally yes rally meaning this will be your what your demand zone area something like this so sometimes they'll reject there before coming to the what to the actual demand zone area because they will not always respect the what at this demand zone to also reject somewhere they can find the imbalance level and then they'll continue going to the uptrend so you have to understand that you have to highlight 62 and 50 level something like this and then you delete this so that if you go in smaller time frame you also understand these are the level which you have found in what in each four time frame you want to see a reaction 
want a price and be paid. So you have to look for your order below below or above that area. But looking for an order block before uh, below or above, you also have to understand is that order block responsible for breaking any structure and all of that. So this is the example, guys, which I'm going to show you now. The first example. So as you can see, the price was going to the downside, and now the price decided to give us a push to the uptrend, right? We also have a break of the structure right here of structure something like this in the info time frame right we also have another regular structure something like this here and now we do understand this is a change of color right and now the first thing which you have to understand right you have to understand this is the last demand zone area or the last opposite candlestick which was created by the price and it was responsible for taking out this previous lower high, right? As you can see, we only have the bullish momentum right here. So the second thing, once you identify side, you have to understand, you have to highlight the low of this and then the high. So the high must be a first turning point coming back to this zone. So as you can see now, guys, we also have 62 here we also have 50 percent here something like this then if we delete this as you can see the price rejected here and then continue going up so if you are going to take this trade this was going to be your what your entry point and then your take profit was going to be at this momentum right here as you can see so now you also have to understand your left side because there will be those plus the lower height. And you can see we also have another break of structure here. So this one will confirm the continuation getting to the uptrend. So now, if you go to smaller time frame like 15 minutes time frame coming from H4 time frame, you have to understand that those zones, there will be a what? A imbalance level in will be a different uh, structure right so as you can see now right this is the zone which we have found in what in h4 time frame you can now see that we also have a rally base rally right there and the other thing which you have to understand you have to understand this particular level from this swing low to this high and understand the zones which will never be indicated and also you'll be able to use this key even in a smaller time frame right by only understanding the structure of the market so as you can see here guys we also have a break of structure here in 15 minutes time from something like this i always do something like this guys so that i'll not confuse myself right something like this and as you can see now guys we have this supply zone and this supply zone tried to push the market to the downside but it fails to break this low meaning now the price is creating what we call strong lows and then these highs will be weak highs right when price is going to the what to the uptrend these highs will be weak highs to give up to weak highs something like this and as well guys as you can see this is the second higher low or the first higher low which was created by the price so if you highlight this high and this low something like this you have to understand you have your 50 and 62 level right here also we have this demand zone right here right this is a demand zone in 15 minutes time frame and you can see this is in h4 time from you can delete for now and then if we delete this you can see the price just came back near that zone and then she cleared the market as i said do not always come back to this demand zone so if you are going to use 62 level right as you can see 62 level there was a sniper entry the price rejected and then continued going 
going to the uptrend. Same thing here, we also have another weak high being taken out, right? Something like this. And then if we highlight this low right here, and this high, something like this. Now understand that 62 was here, there was a lot of liquidity, but the price now came back to this zone. So if you're going to take your entry from this zone, your trade was going to be a good trade as well. As you can see, the price continued going on to the uptrend. As well, you have to highlight those last lower highs, those last lower highs, so that you understand, right, if the price is still going on to the uptrend. As you can see, we have another breakout right there, as you can see, so this was the high and this was the low right uh this was the low this was the high right something like that and they didn't come back to that level and you will find out that that's where that demand zone in uh h4 time frame is at, at this zone maybe so that's why maybe that's why they didn't come and then they continued going up as you can see they continued taking out the structure you can now identify that this is a new low, right? This is a new low. So if we highlight this low and this high, something like this. All right. If we are still looking for a continuation pattern, your trade was going to be at this momentum right here, where 62 is at, right? So as I said, they will not immediately come back to those zones. So now we have to also understand something. We have to understand if price takes out this swing high right here if you go back in h4 time frame something like this you have to understand now this is next new supply zone target right and also it was being taken out but this was the first pull back to this one as you can see and you can see price came back to 50 percent they didn't come back to 62 but they came back to 50 and then rejected the price. And then if you go to 15 minutes time frame, right, it's something like this now. It's something like this. As you can see, they also took out this zone. So always use the last high as you take profit. So you see price came back to this high and then rejected as there was a supply zone. And now they finally came back to this uh, imbalance level which we have found in what in h4 time frame as you can see now understand that we also have a nice zone here we have a nice rally yes rally meaning this was the what the demand zone in this was the demand zone in something like this and then the price rejected from that zone going to the uptrend so now they've also take out the last lower high if you wanted a good confirmation you're going to wait for this lower high to be taken out as you can see this lower high was being taken out you do the same it's still the same even if price is going down let me show you if the price is going down as you can see we have a high right here right we have a high here let me move this okay we have a high being taken out right here we also know that there's a supply zone on h4 time frame on your what on your left side something like this now do something like this guys and this was the first time coming back to that supply zone here so you do something like this All right and then what we like to see we like to see reversal right and this is a correction to that order block which you have found in what in it for time frame because in it for time frame now is something like this you were trading a continuation now the price is still new a reversal and then they will continue going to the uptrend so you have to understand you swing what you swing low and you swing high as i said and then you highlight your 62 so that you understand that the price will come back and reject and you always highlight that zone something like which i did here you see 
I highlight in that zone and that's where they can be and then they shift the market going up. So if you are going to take as well this continuation to the downside, you are going to wait for this low to be taken out again. As you can see right here, we also have a low being taken out after price have created a chop right here as you can see right is a chop but this is a supply zone from that zone in here and then the price shifted so now if you highlight your fee from this new lower high to this new lower low right here you can see the price came back to uh 62 as you can see guys price came back to 62 but you find out that there was an imbalance level in higher time frame, right? There was an imbalance level. As well, you can see that's where the breaker is at, the breaker blocker. And there was an imbalance price rejected, continue going down. And also the price came back to indicate that supply zone, which was also good if you wanted to take your trade from that zone. And then they shifted the market going to the downside until they reach that zone which we have found in what in h4 time from which is this one so this was a liquidity grab and then the price did another change of character and this is a break of what break of structure here and change of character at the top so this strategy is just a simple strategy if you want to use it clear you can use it from h4 time frame and if you understand 15 years time frame structure, you can also use it from 15 years time frame structure. So as you can see, this is a swing what? Swing low. And then this is a swing high right there. And here is our 62 level. We also have a what? In order block or a demand zone right here. You can see that this demand may get this one. And this one was left unmitigated. That's where the price just came to hit that level shifted the market going to the what to the uptrend as well as simple thing you look for what the break of structure again something like this right something like this and then you highlight the what the low and the high of that level you see 62 and 50 percent there was an imbalance and now the price rejected at the 62 as you can see here we also have an order block below 62 which is this one which was also nice and you can see the rejection right there which was also nice so this was going to be a good trade right there and then the price shifted to the uptrend as you can see continue going to the upside we still have another break of structure right here as you can see all right something like this and then same thing you highlight the low and high right you have 62 here but you have an imbalance but as you can see guys uh, sometimes these order blocks will not hold because they are after this first lower high being what taken out so we have to always use the order block which is below that zone here something like this which will help you to understand a lot more as you can see they just came back to that zone area and then shifted the market to the action so it's a simple strategy it's just need you to be consistent and look for simple entries right simple entries same thing over and over if you're doing your back testing you highlight the last what break of structure something like this right something like this you highlight the low low and the high something like this as you can see here we have a reversal right so that's the high and this will be what your demand is on area then you delete this something like this then as you can see guys the price just came back there shifted the market going away to the uptrend so you only see that we only had a bullish momentum and then the price rejected continue going up but they finally came back to the zone which we were looking for then the price continue going to the uptrend same thing over and over you just need to be consistent and then everything will be good you see another break of structure right here break of structure 
what you have to do highlight the low and then the high you see we have 62 inside and then as you can see price in as well you have to understand your h4 time frame right because you will not always um trade from 15 minutes time frame you have to understand your h4 time frame you can see in h4 time frame we have that supply which was never been indicated right there and also guys we also shared this setup let me show you as you can see this is gbp usd and as you can see this is h4 time frame so we say do we like to see price going here then it will go down same thing guys as you can see price came back then it goes down and there was the imbalance you see this imbalance level right there but it was swept out which was also good and then the price gave us a one a move to the downside so now price has taken out this low something like this as you can see right we have taken out this low something like that and then now we like to see if price will continue going to the downside and then we'll be looking for this demand if it can hold or it will not hold but it's still the same thing guys over and over as you can see this demand was being taken out price came back right and even if we are going to use the the two it was going to be the smart change of character sorry change of character because you have a little structure at the top right there same thing here another what little structure so you're going to use the low the high and the low something like this you see 62 price just came back here there was the imbalance right before they actually come back to the what to the supply zone sorry about that to the supply zone and then they drop so now as you can see price also took out this zone but as well you have to use your volume profile let me just delete everything guys you have to use your volume profile to understand much more where the orders will be at right so if we do something like this uh let me take it here if we do something like this this is the low this is the high right we find out the orders are at this momentum right here so guys um right there as you can see we also have a break of what the change of character at the top and then Regular structure so that zone can also be a greedy zone area whereby we can also see price maybe turning back to the uptrend right is a continuation pattern so we'll see if this supply will be able to hold the orders until they also take out this low because in daily time frame we have not yet even also uh, come back to the actual demand zone which we are looking forward to see if price will come and respect this demand zone area right here guys uh, you have to highlight your demand zone nicely so that it will not confuse you right something like this so this is an imbalance level right here right and that's why that where the price has rejected as you can see there's a demand so we like to see if this supply will hold the orders maybe we can see something like this then the price start giving us those push to the what to the uptrend and then we'll continue looking for a continuation pattern so i hope the video will help you and as well guys you have to use this strategy in each and every pair which you go for just break test write down your 